event. Okay, I'm back today with an updated version of basically Monka Pie slash Supreme build. Uh, it looks like they teamed up together, Monka, uh, Monka Blyat, as well as uh, particularly one Supreme member individual who uh, chooses to be a silent partner in this build, uh, so I don't even know who it was. Uh, but, you know, I, I want to make sure I give credit to everyone. I'm sure the whole Supreme team had uh, input in this build. Um, but again, thanks to Monka Blyatt and uh, any Supreme team members who worked on it. We're just going to take a look at this new image. It's going to be available for you on a website uh, with a download link. I'm going to put that in the description. You can get it there. Some of the highlights of this new image is uh, 1080 playback on Chromium. No tearing. Raycast standalone that's running better. Uh, splash screens are working now. They had a problem with that before. Um, but the biggest change and update, no reflash needed in any subsequent builds. Uh, you're just going to get your updates uh, over an online tool. So that's going to be a fantastic upgrade. Now, also about this image, just so you're aware, it's default overclocked to 1.7 gigahertz, uh, as well as I believe 620 on the GPU or 600. If you don't want to be overclocked, you don't have a fan, you don't have heat sinks, you can go down to the overclock uh, option in here. And again, there's a ton of options in here. You're gonna have to go through them all and check them all out. Uh, there should be some detailed descriptions of this image in the website, but you're gonna go to the overclock option, which if you didn't weren't aware, this is a, a, a auto overclock for you. If you don't know how to overclock, you just go down, you hit the okay button, but you can also go uh, back to uh, the general settings if you want. You just go down to no overclock factory settings and you'll be good there if you wanna put it back to uh, factory. Also, there is a surprise in the BIOS folder. Uh, go ahead, look in the BIOS. Uh, you'll see what you need in there if you know what I mean. So check that out. Okay, so today I'm gonna do a couple tests, not very long, it's gonna be Sega Saturn. We're gonna do a really quick Dreamcast, a little Power Stone 2, and then I'm gonna try uh, Mortal Kombat 4 on MAME. So let's start with Saturn, and before I get started, I really like the background music at the menu. There's a bunch of little clips of retro themes that just are randomized, it's really great. So let's take a look at Sega Saturn really quick, and we're gonna take a look at Guardian Heroes. Okay, now on Saturn, just check a couple settings really quickly. One of them is going to be video, uh, threaded video on, just make sure that's on. Uh, other one's going to be quick menu options and number of threads four. So make sure those are set. There's also other settings in, in RetroArch. You guys all know that to, to fool around with to see if you can get better, better performance with different settings. So, and take a... Uh, in Yuru, I'm not. I haven't played this game in eons, so I, I don't remember much about it. Uh, but it's a great game. Everybody uh, raves about it. Um, it's been a long time for me. We can just bust through these uh, sayings real quick, and let's put on let's put on the uh, uh, FPS counter. Yes, it's not a good idea to fight in here. Let's go fight out back. I was using this 8-bit though remote. It's going to take me a second to get these buttons. All right, come on, come on. So it looks like it's, uh, well, I can't, I mean, this is running at full speed, if you ask me. Um, can't really uh, see any lag at all. I see 60 on the frame counter, so. Oh, obviously not that good at this game. Put it aside. There, that's the block button. Oh. So it looks like we're steady at 60. Um, Get these buttons straight now. I got at least some sort of 
moves here. Oh, look out. There we go. Come on. So we're looking at 5960 on there. I'm trying to keep attention while trying to fight here. Uh, looks pretty good to me. Um, so this game is going to run pretty well. Let's just do Street Fighter Alpha real quick. Do a quick arcade mode. There we'll see how this runs. Let's turn on the FPS counter. Ken vs. Guy. Alright. So it looks like we're pretty good here considering it seems a touch slow. But not bad, really. Uh, pretty good for this game. Got a little audio, I think. Uh, not is not that great, but um, it's, uh, it's pretty playable, actually. I, Yeah, that was decent sound, not bad. So not bad at 55.50. It seems a touch slow, but not bad at all. And uh, audio, it, it seems okay. Now, I did test Marvel Super Heroes. It did not run. It was just uh, too, uh, too slow, and it, it didn't work. And I tested and had some other people test some other games. Basically, if it's a high uh, video graphic demanding game, it's not going to run that well on Saturn, so it's going to be spotty. Uh, if it's you know 3D or something like that, um, you're you're going to have slow performance and uh, not great. Now I did test out some sports games, didn't have much success, but maybe if you overclock more, what have you, uh, you can figure out how to get them to run a little better. And again, it's hit or miss with Saturn. All depends on the game uh, game type. But don't get deterred by this again this is the beginning stages when they introduce new video drivers and other things uh everything's going to get better so don't think this is the capability limit of the pi 4. uh let's take a look at dreamcast really quick and i did dreamcast in uh, another video um and let me tell you one of the uh, things on here is there's standalone dreamcast which i'm going to use that one for power stone 2 but you can pretty much use any of them and they run really well so and I'll bring up the three options here. You got Flycast, Raycast, LR Raycast, both LR, LR Raycast, and then the standalone Raycast. Uh, it says audio also. Now, my understanding is that this is pulse audio forced through the also driver. I don't know much about how it works exactly. Maybe somebody from the Supreme team can comment on that, but uh, let's take a look at it. Now, all the games are loading very fast on, uh, on this build. And this picture looks amazing on here, extremely crisp. And we're just going to do arcade. Fight for your freedom. Escape from the castle. Your challenger. I mean, this looks really good. I don't have an FPS counter. Um, I personally have never played Power Stone 2, but everybody says it's a great game. I just played it uh, originally a little second ago, and... Uh, yeah, I got to say I missed out on this one. A four-player, you know, uh, fighting game. Um, seems like it was well ahead of its time, but uh, looks like a great game. So I, I can't speak for sure that it's running at full speed, but it, boy, does it look like it's it, does it look like it's running at full speed? And the, and the the video is great. The audio seems just fine. Um, And the video is actually amazing. So if you guys are Power Stone 2 players, I mean, you can tell whether or not I'm, I'm right about full speed. I did run it on... Oh, there we go. I did run it on... Uh, I did run it on LR uh, Raycast and I put the frame counter on um, and it looked like it was only running between 40 and 50, but the speed, but the performance was very similar, 
you know, I didn't notice any any bad performance on uh, LR Raycast either, although the FPS counter was a little bit slow. All right. So again, this is Dreamcast. Uh, I wish I had time to test the uh, arcade port of this, um, but uh, oh, I don't have time to do that. So let's move on to Mame and Mortal Kombat. So let's just jump right in. And this is going to be a uh, Mame 2010. And I'll just let it run through the testing here. And you can kind of tell already uh, it's going to be it's going to be a little laggy, a little slow, but let's uh, let's take a look anyway. Yeah, you can see how slow it is right now. You don't even have good volume and you can see 26, 23. I knew this because I had tested it already. It's just going to be unplayable at this time. At least it, it starts up and it runs. I mean, there's really, you know, no audio even. And so, hey, there it is. Uh, Monk of Blyot and uh, basically one other individual on the Supreme team, maybe some other members as well. Put this together for you. Go ahead and download it, use it, test it, and uh, hopefully it works out for you guys. Hey, as always, subscribe if you like the channel. Thanks for watching. Always more to come on the Rexer Show.